There are so many beautiful celebrations this time of year right here in San Antonio, across the country and around the world, really. And the one key to the Jewish faith, Hanukkah, has just come to a close here this evening. And joining us in our Q&A this evening, we have Rabbi Haim Block, the executive director at the Shabbat Center for Jewish Life and Learning. Thanks for being here with us, especially uh, as this significant holiday wraps up. And I, I wanna take a chance to educate all of us. We all have heard of Hanukkah, but may not know as much about it as we should. So what is the significance of this holiday? Well, thank you for, for having uh me on the show and for providing a, a little information for our listeners. Um, Hanukkah, as you mentioned, we just concluded an eight day holiday of Hanukkah. And um, just briefly, Hanukkah commemorates a, a, an episode that happened, an event that happened in 165 BCE uh, when the Jewish people were living in Judea and they were ruled by a foreign power who refused to allow the Jewish people to practice their own religion in their own country, in their own temple, and defiled the temple, brought idolatry and pagan rituals into the temple. And finally, the Jews have had enough. And the Maccabees, a small band of zealous uh, um, followers of the faith, uh, rose up against the Syrian Greeks, a vastly superior power, military power, miraculously drove them out of the environment of the temple and Jerusalem, came to the temple to clean it up and to rededicate it. And they wanted to light the lights on the menorah and they couldn't find any oil. So the first miracle that happened is that they found one little flask of oil, only enough to light for one day, it would actually take eight to manufacture new oil. So they could have just said, listen, we waited so long. Why fill it up for one day, have it go out, then wait another seven days. Let's just wait and not fill it up at all. Interesting. But their attitude was, no, we have enough oil to burn for one day. We need to do our share. We need to put forth our best effort. And they poured that oil into the menorah and expected it to go out after a day. And that's when the miracle happened and it burned and burned and burned for eight days until the entire country was, was ecstatic and, and inspired by this expression of God's providence and in essentially God saying, thank you for standing up for my principles and my my uh, teachings and Torah. And and this is a sign that I I've accepted your your sacrifice. And so this was the inspiration for the rabbis back then to establish these days of, of rejoicing and celebration. And it's quite incredible that this little uh, miracle, so to speak, back then, thousands of years ago, is still being commemorated till this very day in San Antonio in 2021. We are still lighting those candles, bringing light and holiness, goodness uh, uh, into the world around us. Rabbi, you're one of my favorite guests that we've had on K that we have on KSAT Q&A, and I always appreciate your time and your expertise and and how really the message that you bring often goes beyond just the Jewish faith. So what is the message of Hanukkah for all of us, do you think, this year, in present time? Well, well, thank you for that question, because it, it is so um, apropos in today's day and age, where we, some, where we, we, we very often doubt ourselves. We doubt um, our, uh, our purpose, can we really make a difference? Can one person really make a difference when we're fighting such a world of adversity and darkness and, and misunderstandings and so on? And the, the, the miracle of Hanukkah and the Hanukkah lights convey the message to each and every human being way beyond just the Jewish community that every human being counts, that every soul has the capacity, the potential to light, to illuminate, to bring inspiration to others. And if we focus on the other, 
we will ultimately inspire ourselves and we will create a world filled with light and, and harmony and peace. And, and I know it sounds kind of kumbaya, but it's really real. We can create little pockets of, of communities that respect each other, that get along. And from there, it just grows. Why should we just cede the territory to hate and bigotry and, and discrimination and all the negatives that we're so used to seeing. There is nothing wrong with a little kumbaya. <laughs> I think we could, we could all use some. And, and I know that, you know, these are, like you're mentioning, stressful times for, for all of us in so many different ways. But the Jewish community in particular has been dealing with some, some anti-Semitism, acts of hate recently that we've seen right here in San Antonio. So uh, do you think that given what we have seen play out and, and how the Jewish community has come together and stood in solidarity against those, those types of acts, was that more significant this Hanukkah, just having this opportunity to gather everyone together uh, after what so many of you've been through? And COVID, Absolutely. add COVID on top of that. Yeah, yeah. And, and throw COVID in on top. Um, I, I think it's not only the Jewish community came together, the entire community came together. And that is what's so uplifting and inspiring about San Antonio. And, you know, I have to, you know, give a shout out to our mayor, our city council, all many, many city officials who really rallied, the county officials rallied to come to the support, to stand shoulder to shoulder with the Jewish community and and with with zero tolerance for hate and bigotry and i think that our community saw that in 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 full in uh, full display uh, at the federation event for jewish solidarity uh, solid, solidarity last month on the anniversary of kristallnacht and and channel 12 really did such an incredible job just yesterday in bringing together the celebration of hanukkah with what happened in the past month it only makes the celebration more meaningful and our appreciation more profound when the city embraces the holiday of Hanukkah like we did last night at Hanukkah on the river it it means so much more to everyone than it than than in the past and this is one of those examples of how from the darkness and from the adversity emerges light emerges strength uh, even more than we could have imagined with without these little um nuisances of, of hate uh, speech, et cetera. So really we have to thank these people from wherever they came, that they came in here and, and rallied us to put our best foot forward. And it gave us a chance to show ourselves and others who, what we really stand for. Very well put. Rabbi Heimblock, always appreciate your time and uh, we we'll hope you'll come back and join us in the future. If I'm invited, I'll be there. You'll be invited, no <laughs> for doubt. For sure. All right, thank you. Thank you.